Okay, hello. Um, my name is Imogen. Welcome to a YouTube video that I've made. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my tabs and my annotations. I get asked this a lot on TikTok, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to make a long YouTube video. Well, not that long, but longish and address everything. So um, the very first thing I wanna say is, in my opinion, there is no rules to tabbing and annotating. You can do whatever the fuck you want. They're your books. Um, I know some people think that like, you have to measure the way, like how far out your tabs are. I personally don't do that. I just kind of stick them on and if they look the same, then they, whatever. If they don't look the same, that's also kind of whatever. The book I'm gonna be showing you for the example today is my favorite book, Beach Read. I've drawn in it, I've written in it, I've underlined. Um, my, my underlining is usually really messy, which I know some people don't like, but I like it. So that's really all that matters. Um, and it's my favorite book. So it's like, you know, it's a bit special. I won't be showing you all the annotations just because some of them are a little bit more personal, but I'll be showing you the funny ones because I mainly only do funny annotations. I don't do like, oh, this is a metaphor. Like I just, like I'm like screaming or like LMA or whatever. Um, Cause it's my book, so I can do whatever I want. That being said, if you're one of those people that has like a really strict rule that you need to stick to, that is also okay. Um, there are no, in my opinion, there's just, there's no one way to do it. If however you do it is the right way to do it. So yeah. For the actual physical annotations and the writing, I use the Sakura Micron 0.05 millimeters um so this is a really really good pen it doesn't bleed um it doesn't transfer to the other page it's perfect for book annotating and i bought mine i'm australian so usually book pens and like specialty things are a little bit harder to find um i bought mine on a website which i'll link below because i can't remember the name um but they were pretty cheap like for a specialty pen and i have one in every color except yellow. I mainly use the black ones, but sometimes these are colored ones just for little drawings. And then my tabs are the J Burroughs clear sticky tabs from Officeworks. Uh, my tabbing system I know is a little bit loosey goosey compared to other people's tabbing systems. I've seen on TikTok, a lot of people have like five or six colors that they use. I mainly only use the top three. So I mainly only use pink, orange, and yellow because those are the colors I like the most. Um, I love green and blue. Green's probably my second favorite color ever, but I just, for whatever reason, I don't end up using it unless the book specifically has a green cover or green in the cover. Um, so yeah, so for Beach Read, as you can see, there's no green on this book. Um, so I didn't use any green tabs in Beach Read at all. So my main system for tabbing is pink is only for romance kisses or romantic sentiments or whatever. Orange is for funny quotes or like sections that I think are funny or I want to remember, I want to go back to. This is only 58 pages in and there's already like seven or eight orange tabs. Um, so orange is probably the one I use the most. It's definitely the one I run out of first. And then yellow is plot points. So for me, I just do anything that I'm like, that was a big moment in the plot, tab. A lot of people have also asked me how I decide I'm going to annotate or tab a book. Um, honestly, it's kind of a trial and error. So, um, for a regular book, I would usually only tab it after reading it once. That being said, books that I think I believe that I'm going to really enjoy, I do tab them from the get-go. Uh, sometimes that has bit me in the bum and I've ended up DNFing the books. For example, please don't hate the internet, the Atlas 6 I did not like. Um, so I DNF'd it not even halfway through. You can see that I've used tabs, I've annotated and underlined, and I shouldn't have. Sometimes it's a mistake, sometimes it goes really well. So I'm also reading um, this book at the moment, and you can see for this book, I've only used, which green tabs again is the one that I run out of last, so I've got all these spare green tabs. But um, I'm only using the green ones because the lips on the front are green, and I like the way that that looks. But sometimes I do just color code them to the cover. So for Penguin Classics, for example, I'll only really use orange tabs. Uh, I don't do that for every book, obviously, but if I've decided to color code them, the tabs don't really mean anything. They just mean like I'm tabbing this bit and then I move on. So for Beach Read, I also have the surprise fourth color. Can you see the blue? Um, because there's blue on this and on the spine. So for most books, I'll do a surprise fourth color. It'll either be green or blue. Um, and for romance novels specifically, I do them when I've read the book before and I loved it. And I decided that I was like, this specific moment was just so overwhelmingly beautiful and so special to me 
that I needed to make it a special tab, a special color to remember it. So if we find a blue tab in Beach Read, I've also underlined this and I'll just show you as well that all my underlining, none of it is straight. It doesn't really matter to me. The thing that I tab in this section is, you know that feeling when you're watching someone sleep and you feel overwhelmed with joy that they exist. So I tabbed that in blue because I was like, oh, I need to remember that forever. <laughs> and um, yeah, so it got its own special little tab. So there's a couple blue ones in this. There's so many things in this book. I wish I could just tab this entire, every single line of this book, but I would run out of tabs and probably money. So yeah, there's not really much else to it. Um, just tab whatever you want. There's no rules. I know that on TikTok especially, it can really seem like people are doing stuff wrong. That is not true at all. Um, they're your books. So ultimately it doesn't really matter to anyone else except you. If you want to follow the rules of a book talker or a book tuber or whatever, you're also very welcome to do that. Make it as personal as you want and just make sure that you are sure about it before you go into it. I've had a couple false starts on annotating and timing, especially annotating and you can't take back drawing in a book unless it's with a pencil. And case you can take it back. I'm still trying to get the hang of this YouTube thing so I don't really know any like I don't know if this video will be good or if it'll go up. If it does congratulations to me for editing it properly. Anyway it was nice to talk to you. I'll see you next time.